Welcome to Face to Face, and today we're going to talk about art, we're going to talk about immigration, we're going to talk about uh, multimedia, dance. I'm with uh, Georgina. Welcome to, the, to Face to Face. Thank you so and, much. And you are a choreographer, you are a dancer, <laughs> you are, uh, I don't know how can I describe <laughs> more what you do. It's, 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 it's very beautiful and fantastic. And you, you, you. make a stand on, on immigration with one of my uh, uh, work and I've been uh, uh, trying to pass a legislation in New York City to grant the right to vote for legal resident in New York for many years. Wow. And so uh, when I saw your, uh, your production, I was like, wow, this is, this mm -hmm. is what we need. Thank so you. Describe a little bit. You. Yeah, so I, um, I was moved by personal stories mm -hmm. about immigration and um, I've always sort of wanted to put it into a dance form to see what happens with it, with these personal stories. So I started the beginnings of the idea back in graduate school, and then I got an opportunity to do it at a festival, Collaborations in Dance, and I thought, journalism and documentarianism and dance meeting together to make something that's going to say something about these human lives and changing the way things are would be such an amazing challenge. So that's what we did, and I worked with these incredible women who had these, pulled these news stories and interviewed real people about their lives and their experience of living in this country under the radar yeah. and what that did to their families. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I really was just moved by those personal stories, so I tried to translate that into dance. And uh, then it just exploded and became this other hour-long piece, which we will see some of. Um, and we talked a little bit about the refugee crisis as well, but um, this all happened before election day <laughs> last year, uh, the first piece, so lots of things have changed since that. So I really would like to expand it even more. You mean a lot of things for you, or just about the country and the, country. the new administration and so on and uh, so forth? Yes. So it, it takes even more power now than, than you were exactly. a year ago. And then also the DACA uh, situation yeah. and just the general hatred and yeah. animosity towards yeah. immigrants yeah. and anyone who's not white and upper class. And so I just feel that this is through this medium, through art and hopefully joining with journalism and documentarianism, we can touch people's hearts as well as inform them. Um, but of course the audience needs to be willing to hear it and want to change this country. But I don't see any, I mean, art for me, it's a very important part of, of the mm. discussion. Without art, it's very complicated to, to go to places where uh, uh, I mean, a certain fringes of the population will listen to us, but with art you can expand this mm. discussion at much larger level. And I think you have done a fantastic job with... Thank with you. No, but because one part it, it's, it's making it real with the news, with the mm. videos and so on and so forth, and then the dance add another dimension to... and the music, it, it's really... A, yeah, uh, it's very special and, and really congratulations for, for, uh, uh, for doing this. And so um, w what's happening now with the production? You, um, you try to, to have it play in, in other places or? Um, I would like to, yeah. <laughs> that's the goal. Uh, we worked very, very hard um, over the period of about two and a half months mm -hmm. to make an evening length dance. And usually I think it takes about six months to a year or more. Um, so it was very, very intense. And the dancers really gave all of themselves and we collaborated all beautifully. Um, they told their own stories yeah. in the piece. So it was a lot. Um, and I feel like it's still really fresh and I'm just sort of trying to figure out where the right venue is um, and you know whether to produce it myself or, or what. But I, I would like to, to have it be seen. Um, I actually invited the mayor to the show mm -hmm. and they responded saying he was busy that day. But um, if there were some sort of society that would like to show it or some sort of La Guardia? cultural you... institution. I will or... try La, Gu La Guardia Community College. Oh, this, great. This, I think that will be a big, a, a, one of the place to do it. Mm -hmm. And then the city, it's a very good idea because they have, a, a, you can, 
Or the immigrant affair, you, we can, we can, it can be in contact. Uh, the cultural affair too. Um, but La Guardia will be a good place. Uh, last week it was a, a movie of uh, uh, a woman who did a documentary on the people who uh, were uh, granted immigration reform in 96, mm. 86. And then what was the story for them now? So it's uh, the whole journey from 86 wow. and, and during Clinton when they, they did uh, oh uh, the amnesty and then what happened to these immigrants. So I think it will be a great place. But New York is a great place for for your, uh, for your uh, performance. It's a very, very, very interesting. It is. I think um, there's also an opportunity to apply for something in Switzerland. Yeah. And I thought, I'm wondering if this will make sense <laughs> for them over there. Will they understand? Will they like it? Will they appreciate it? Um, because it is such an interesting time in this country. And I, I do feel we, ha we have a responsibility to do something, whatever it is. I mean, and I think it will be very interesting because in some places it, it's, you have to do it as a prevention. You That's have to true. do it at, to, to, to avoid the, the, the disaster. Mm -hmm. And then in some places you have to do it as, uh, you know, helping to, to reroute the, the direction. Uh, hopefully, Switzerland will be more prevention than, but I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not 100% yes. sure either. Don't be like us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, yes. that could be very, very interesting. Yeah, I really, I want to find the right place because these are such personal stories. Um, and also one thing that was great, one of the nights that we performed, we had um, organizers from the New Sanctuary Coalition yeah. of New York City. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, who were strong. also yeah. in the in the project mm -hmm. um, on film, mm -hmm. and they came and talked to us about their work, yeah. and um, they're just they're just amazing. Mm -hmm. The things that they're doing for friends they call them friends, um, immigrants who need yeah. representation, yeah. and um, it just feels very special and very personal. And so I, I want I don't feel like it's just a show that I want to take anywhere, but I really want the right venue so anyone out there who wants to no, i love absolutely. your suggestions yeah, yeah. too no no la, la guardia could be a good place but but i'm sure it's many other places uh, who could be uh, could be done and, and i want trump be... to see it <laughs> change your mind sir yeah 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 no 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 <laughs> and then but but a uh, lot of people have to see it i, I think yes. trump is just uh, the, i know the, the, the end of the, the story it's it's it you have to put the discussion as a and yes, to be related to it, to discrimination, it, it's it's not it's not an immigration problem. It's it's a discrimination issue. Yes, and it's a human issue. Exactly. So it's disrespecting people's yeah. lives, yeah. whatever they are, wherever they're from. Yeah. Um, and that's why, yeah, one one person at a time, we have yeah. to change and yeah. respect each other. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what I want my my art to be about. Uh -huh. Sort of the driving force of the power of human lives and respecting each other. And how did you click with immigration? How did your family has any... Uh... So, um, well, my father is an immigrant. Mm -hmm. My grandmother fled R Russia during the pogroms. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my husband is an immigrant mm -hmm. and his whole family uh, are immigrants. So. I was just really touched mostly by his story and their stories and their continuing struggles of making a life here and um, not always feeling welcomed and all of the sacrifices that their family back home has to make um, by losing them. And so, yeah, it was, I would say it was mostly my husband who really uh, inspired me to talk about this. Great. So we're going to uh, watch uh, um, some of your work. So now we're watching one of your videos. Yes. You're going to have to hire a lot of people to find them. And get we have news clips. The is how President Trump characterizes his ban on certain refugees along with all visitors from seven predominantly Muslim countries from coming into the U.S. To keep radical Islamic terrorists of the United States of America. You don't want them here. Two decades now, our immigration system, everybody acknowledges, has been broken. Who's going to pay for the wall? 100%. President Trump. 
Trump senior policy advisor Stephen Miller pushing a sweeping new immigration proposal, one that would slash legal so immigration into the U.S. by half, and change a system that allows most legal immigrants also to enter the country based on family relations. Instead, giving admission preference to English speaking and skilled workers. Oh, Trump's made for the production or it's um... um this no not necessarily um a few of them were this particular one was not okay she had already shot this mm -hmm. um but it was just perfect it's you know one of the night. challenges is where film and dance intersect and how they relate and how we can what's too much what's not enough with sound and video and talking and dancing, so that's always been the challenge, but... No, but this is the whole point. This is where it gets very powerful, because <laughs> it's where... How do they interact together? And this section, to me, sort of reminded me of people having to get on a boat <laughs> to save their lives mm -hmm. and to travel together to a new place. They have to make it work together. They have to have a community. And you do the, mu the music or you work with a... I had um, two different, I had one band called the Jews of Malta, okay. who gave me original music, and then Dave Hall, okay. who is a singer-songwriter, uh -huh. and he also gave me um, music. One of the pieces he actually wrote for this. For the play. Right, but wow. um, he, had, he chose a few pieces that he thought would work, so that was one um, of them. And then what, what's coming after that? What's coming after that? Um, well, looking for the new venue. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually just made my first film, very short film oh, about, yeah. um, yes, about breaking expectations of femininity and what it means to be wo a woman and ladylike. And um, so we'll see how that turns out. That's, oh, that's very, that's a new, you have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully I, I because do well with it. But. We do, uh, we have to talk about the uh, women's situation in this country. It's uh, yes. such an issue. Yeah. Uh, I was a, at the conference uh, last week with uh, one of the women who organized the Women March. And oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it was very interesting. It that was, was a, profound. Yeah. That day was so yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to... We really need to make some changes yeah. and stand up. Mm -hmm. So that, this was my stab at that. This, this film it was a dance film, and there was acting in it, and, and we'll see. OK. All right, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> thank you. And thank you then for uh, uh, wish you all the best for, with, the, with the show and the thank movie. You. And that was the show for today. And uh, please keep watching your, uh, your news on Presenza.com and uh, we hope you to see uh, you very soon. Thank you.